In this session, we will be discussing about binary logistic regression. Logistic regression is used when dependent variable is categorical and independent variable can be either categorical, ordinal or even scale data. And when we say binary logistic regression, that dependent variable is exactly two levels. Then only we use a binary logistic regression. If the dependent variable is categorical and more than two levels, then we must use multinominal logistic regression. In this video, we will see about binary logistic regression. <clears throat> and the example I am using is alcohol consumption. In this example, I have a dependent variable which is alcohol consumption which is binary. The question asked is do you consume alcohol? The respondent one means no, <coughs> two consumption of alcohol. And there are four dependent independent variables are there gender, which is nominal data, age, self concept, and anxiety score. This four, uh, this three age, self concept score, and anxiety score are scale data. <coughs> now, I want to create a model which adequately fits the data and differentiate alcohol consumption. I will start the analysis and in this analysis we will be seeing about the model, the fitness of the model and choosing the right model and we will be discussing how these independent variables are varying the dependent variable. I will start the analysis. For doing binary logistic regression, analyze. In this, we go for regression. In regression, we go for binary logistic. In this binary logistic, the dependent variable is alcohol consumption. I am taking as a dependent variable. The gender, age, self concept score, and anxiety score are independent. They are taken as covariates. And the method I want to take is forward method, step method this is. What is forward method is the system will create different models. It creates the first model without any independent variable. And the next model it adds the independent variable variable which is having more impact on consumption of alcohol and it goes on adding step after step this method of adding variables in each model is called forward <coughs> the reverse is backward in backward method the system consider all independent first and it removes one variable after another variable. So in this session, we will be discussing about forward method. I am taking forward LR. <coughs> okay. So the dependent variable is alcohol consumption. The independent variables are gender, age, 
सेल्फ कॉन्सेप्ट स्कोर एंड एंगजाइटी स्कोर एंड द मेथड आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इज फॉरवर्ड मेथड इन फॉरवर्ड मेथड द सिस्टम टेक्स ईच इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वन आफ्टर एंड अदर एंड क्रिएट्स अ डिफरेंट मॉडल and we are going to check the model which is going to have more fit in order to adequately fit the data okay <clears throat> i am first selecting categorical i have one data independent data that is gender i am taking gender as categorical covariate now gender has male and female male is 1 female is 2 system will consider this male and female in the analysis okay i am going to go for save in save i am going to select classification plots and hosmer lemon shaw goodness of fit this hosmer lemon shaw goodness of fit we will see how far the model is fit classification plot explains about the hit ratio let me say continue and now i am saying okay now before i say okay i just taken categorical and taken gender into categorical covariate and in the options i have selected classification plot and the goodness of fit <clears throat> now this is the output screen now here we can see total cases are 392 cases are there respondents are there and dependent variable which we are calling as alcohol consumption we no means 1 0 uh, and s is 1 and when we come for categorical variable gender male and female is there male is 1 and female is 0 so males are 248 and females are 144 members are there <coughs> now this is a beginning block in the beginning block the system will not consider any independent variables now if we see this we will understand that do you consume alcohol observed and predicted see this is not any way good overall percentage of prediction is only 57.9% okay so the classification table we understand that without any independent variable we are not able to fit the data let us go to block 1 with forward step method in this first let me see about the model fit <clears throat> the model fit is seen with the help of hosmer lemon shaw test we have a hypothesis to test the model the null hypothesis says the model adequately fits the data that is a null hypothesis the model adequately fits the data if the significant value is less than 0.05 we reject it in the sense step 1 step 2 we are rejecting the adequacy of the model but if you see step 3 it is more than 0.05 so we accept the null hypothesis that the model 3 the step 3 is adequately fitting the data so this is how we are going to come to the first point of confirming the model we have a zero model where we don't have any independent variable and in each step the model will add one variable after another variable that is what we are going to discuss now 
here lemon shaw uh, hosmer and lemon shaw test says that step 3 model 3 is fitting the data and if we come for model summary we can see that we have r square now in linear regression we talk about r square but when we talk about logistic regression we need to consider pseudo r square statistics this pseudo r square statistics measure the variability in the dependent variable that is explained by the logistic regression model more the r square pseudo r square better the variation is explained means these values should be more these values will lie between 0 to 1 <coughs> and more the value <coughs> that is more better if you see step 1 it is uh, uh, neglecaren r square if you see it is uh, 0 0.657 2 it is 0 0.782 and 3 it is 0 0.8 means the pseudo r square value is increasing so we can come to a conclusion saying that model 3 is showing more variation in the dependent variable than other two models. So we have seen the model fit and we have seen the variation <coughs> in the models that is explained. Model 3 is explaining better <coughs> than model 1 and model 2. Now the third one is selecting the right model. We will see classification table, how much percentage is correctly explained. We have three models, step 1, step 2, step 3. In each model, the system is adding the variable, independent variable. <coughs> in step 1 it is only giving 86.7% step 2 90.3% and step 3 91.6% it mean <coughs> that step 3 is having more percentage of correct explaining the data than the other two steps now let me see in which step what variable is added <coughs> in step 1 self concept is first added this is having more impact in step 2 with self concept system added anxiety score also and in step 3 system added age so step 3 contains three independent variables age self concept and anxiety but where is a gender yeah variables not in the equation if you see step 3 the gender is given in step 1 we don't we don't have gender age and anxiety in each step the system is adding the remaining variables but when you come for step 3 system has removed <coughs> gender 1 now we can conclude that in forward method out of four independent variables system started adding one independent variable after another independent variable and when one independent variable added in first step it is significant if significant value is less than 0 0.05 it is significant step 2 it has added anxiety score it is also significant step 3 age is also added <coughs> but system has not added gender means gender is not having adequate impact on the data 
gender is not having anything to do with alcohol consumption it is with age self concept and anxiety score and the step 3 that is model 3 is having better in predicting the correctness of uh, percentage of correctness of alcohol consumption it is 91.6% and the model fit is also is significant and it shows uh, <coughs> pseudo ask way statistic is also increasing the variation is also increasing it is from 0.657 it has slowly increased to 0.802 so this is a model which we have found the alcohol consumption is impacted by age impacted by anxiety and self concept scores and not impacted by gender